Hello and welcome back to Miss Riley's Maths videos. This is a uh, video for comes up on all kinds of coordinate geometry questions for junior cert and leaving cert. And this is a video about how to test if a point is on a line. Okay. Equation of a line is like the name of the line or a rule for that line. It tells us what all the points on that line have in common. So, for example, this y equals 5 tells us that if we add the x number and the y number, or the x coordinate and the y coordinate, then we should get 5. That's what we want. So, for instance, you, you can tell there that if x was 1, y would have to be 4 on that line. 1 plus 4 equals 5. Or if y was 4, If x was 3, y would have to be 2 because 3 plus 2 equals 5. Okay, or say x was 0, y would have to be 5 because 0 plus 5 equals 5. So all the points have in common that when you add the x and the y together, you get 5. Now, obviously, they're not all positive numbers, so you might have something like minus 3. Well, what would go with minus 3? Minus 3 plus 8 would give me 5. So it's minus 3, 8. Or maybe if we had 10, 10 plus what would give me 5? 10 minus 5 would give me 5. Okay, so all those points are on this line because when I add the x coordinate and the y coordinate, I get 5. That's what the equation of the line is about. Let's take another equation over here, 2x equals y. So what this tells me is that if you double the x, you get the y. That's how you know what points are on this line. So, for instance, if x was 2, well, let's take another one, sorry. If x was 3, to get the y, you multiply 3 by 2, you get 6. So is that two, true? Is 2 by 3 equal to 6? Yeah, it is 6 equals 6. Okay, how about if x was 1? Well, if x was 1, you double it, it'll give you 2, so the y value must be 2. Because 2 times 1 equals 2. Or if x was 0, what would y be? Well, y would be double 0, which would be 0. So 0, 0 is on that line. Okay. Y equals 0. So what about if x was minus 5? Well, y would be 2 times minus 5, so it would be minus 10, because 2 times minus 5 equals minus 10. Or how about if we knew the y value? Say we knew the y value was 12. Well, twice x would give me 12. So what number do I multiply by 2 to get 12? It would be 6. So 6, 12 must be on that line. Okay, uh, let's take another one. Say y was minus 30. Uh, sorry, y is minus 30. What would x have to be? x would have to be whatever I multiply by 2 to get minus 30. So that would be what? Minus 15. So 2 times minus 15 equals minus 30. So the rule or the equation of a line tells us what all the points have in common. What all these points have in common is if you double the x, you get the y. Double the x, you get the y. Double the x, you get the y, and so on. Now, sometimes it's a bit more complicated than that. 3x plus y equals 7. Um, what's this rule? This rule is you multiply your x by 3, you add y, and you have to get 7, and that gives you 7. So multiply the x by 3, you add y, and you get 7. So let's see. Let's try and find a point that's on this line. So... A point on this line, if x was 1, okay, then I'd be looking at 3 times 1 plus y equals 7. So 3 times 1 is 3. What would I have to y to get 7? y would have to be 4. So 1, 4 is on that line because 3 times 1 is 3 plus 4 equals 7. How about 0? If x was 0, let's think what, what would be on that line. 3 by 0 plus y equals 7. Well, 3 by 0 is 0. So 0 plus y equals 7. So y equals 7. So 0, 7 would be on that line. Okay. Or how about if I knew that y was 10? Okay. So 3x plus 10 equals 7. So what would that be? 3x is equal to minus 3. So x would have to be minus 1. So minus 110 is on that line. Okay. Um, wouldn't always work out nicely. What about if y was 0? 
So 3x plus y, which 3x plus 0 equals 7. So 3x plus 0 equals 7, then that would mean 3x equals 7. So x equals 7 over 3, or x equals 2 and a third. So they're not always nice round numbers. Sometimes they're fractions. But again, the main thing being here, that if you have a point on the line, then it will make the rule true. And we'll look at that in a moment. So a rule or an equation of a line tells us what all the points have in common. So any point that's on that line or in that equation will make the equation true. Just do one weird case, y equals 4. All the points on this line, what they have in common, according to this equation, is that the y value is 4. All that means is that the y value is 4. So they could be anything. It could be 104. It could be minus 32, 4. It could be a half, 4. It could be minus 3 and a quarter, 4. It could be 17, 4. It could be 81, 4. All these points have in common that the y coordinate is 4. They are all on the line y equals 4. So if we want to know if a point is on a line, then what we do is we substitute the x coordinate for x, the y coordinate for y. If it works, then the point is on the line. If it doesn't, it's not on the line. So here's our, our one that we've just had a minute ago, x plus y equals 5. And here's two points that we have to test. We want to know, is 7 minus 2 on this line? So is 7 minus 2 on x plus y equals 5? Well, if it is, then if I put 7 in for x and minus 2 in for y, it should give me 5. 7 plus minus 2, does that equal 5? Well, 7 plus minus 2 is 5. Does 5 equal 5? Well, yeah, of course it does. So yes, 7 minus 2 is on that line. Is minus 4, 12 on that line? So is minus 4, 12 on x plus y equals 5? Well, x is minus 4 and y is 12. Is minus 4 plus 12 equal to 5? Does 8 equal 5? No, of course not. So it's not on the line. How about this line here? 3x plus y is equal to 7. Is minus 1, 4 on 3x plus y equals 7? So let's put it in. This is x, this is y. Is 3 by minus 1 plus 4 equal to 7? Is minus 3 plus 4 is equal to 7? No, 1 does not equal 7. So it's not on the line. Is minus 2, 13 on that line? 3x plus y equal to 7. Is minus 13, is minus 2, 13? Here's my x, here's my y. 3 by minus 2 plus 13, does that equal 7? Does minus 6 plus 13 equal 7? Does 7 equal 7? Yes, it does, of course. So minus 2, 13 is on the line. Okay, I hope that helps. Bye.